What up guys, Danny here, aka HD, and this is a pilot for my new series called My First Time. Basically it's just going to be a commentary over recorded footage of my first time of whatever I may be doing at that very moment in time. Now this episode is my first multiplayer round. I'll give a quick review and thumbs up, thumb down, whatever I think of stuff. Uh, basically I've played Gear of the War since number one. I didn't play number one that much. But I did play Gears 2 religiously. I loved Gears 2 online. Playing with mates, wingman, playing r private games with bots. It's so fun. It's just one of those games that if you want to get away from the frustrating world of Call of Duty or FIFA, if you lose, you're so frustrated. You, you come on here and you just. <coughs> it's a fun game to play. You can just get around the map, you just blow people away. It's just big full out fun bloodbath of a game uh, but Gears 3 it's I thought they might have tried to break away from the multiplayer it could be a bit like adventurous in what they've done but they've stuck to the roots which again it, it, it just is a good thing it's stuck to the roots of what their game is you got your big shotguns you've got your big chainsaws your lancer your other uh, added guns have added this year and it is a great game the guns are pretty awesome. The sword of shotgun. I've been using it a bit. I I, I didn't actually. I actually accidentally used it because uh, at the beginning you change your loadout and you you gotta use left left for your shotgun, then right right for your um, lances. I didn't I didn't realise that my brain got confused. So when I clicked left, I went to sword off. I clicked right to go back and end up clicking the wrong one. So I end up playing my first round with the sword of shotgun. And uh, pretty much the game is about f flanking on multiplayer, it seems. You've got to get around the left hand side of people or right hand side. You've got to get behind the enemies and you just try and get behind them to kill them. Because on a one on one situation, it's basically it's whoever gets the most bullets in. So if you get behind, you're going to have a big advantage. And that's what it seems a lot of the time you are about flanking. And you've seen a couple of times where I die, they, they must be teammates on the other side together. So you come up with two in the freeze, which I think is again is a good tip. If you play your teams, you can get around the map in twos or threes, and you just blow people away because one on three on gears, one on two even, you have no chance unless you are a beast at the game. Pretty much, you have to. If you go in twos, you're gonna spray the heart of that one guy. He's dead. If you're, going, if you're one on one, like I said, it's just a, a spray out whoever gets the most bullets and you're dead. Uh, uh, graphics. I, I, I love the graphics on Gear well. They, they don't try and take it too seriously. They like to be a bit of a cartoony. They, they take more care on the gameplay and how you play rather than the graphics and visualize. But it, that's what Gears is. It's like a cartoon. It's fun. No serious. You just want to play. You don't really care about where you're playing. Or what what the graphics are, you know who you do. The enemies uh, have their own identity and their own visual effects. The graphics are good for what Gears is, compared to other games then it's not it's not up to scratch with modern day games but it is Gears of War. You don't expect great graphics. Uh, the maps this one this is my first map. I played a couple on the beta. But this is not Mercy. It's a uh, quite a decent map, quite flat, get around, get behind people, it's quite a lot of open area just to have the spray outs and quite a lot of areas you see in the game where people just end up three, four or five enemies from both sides just inside with shotguns trying to kill each other. So if, if all the maps are like this one then yeah it's, I, I enjoy these types of maps open flat ground reminds me of like bog on Call of Duty 4 there's nowhere to really camp they just flat out uh, end to end you can snipe you can run around with shotgun you can run around with a spray gun and get your kills however you play so yeah I think this game's coming to an end now guys if you enjoyed it and you want to see more my first time episodes send me a m uh, leave me a comment all links are in the description follow me on Twitter Thanks for watching guys, until next time, see you in a bit.